Hi, my name is Mike Wagner. I'm a senior product manager at Airy Lighting. We're here at NAB 2016, and we've got a few new things at the booth. Uh, the major thing, though, is the firmware upgrade for the sky panel. The sky panel is an LED soft light that's ultra bright and fully tunable. And at this NAB, we're announcing 10 new features in firmware 2.0 that really add to the versatility of the product. Uh, the big main feature is the addition of Roscoe and Lee gel libraries into the fixture. So you could actually scroll through a list of gels and pick the one that you want. Um, so you have all of those familiar colors. In fact, we have 277 different colors inside the, in, uh, the panel. Um, in addition to actually selecting the color, you could actually also select the color temperature base that you're putting that gel in front of basically. So you could select a 3200 degree base or a 5600 degree base and then the gel color will uh, change depending on that. Um, so it's really versatile. We have everything from color corrections of course, CTOs, CTBs. Uh, we also have a lot of the party colors from Roscoe, the Storaro selection, the Cal color selection. So a really, really wide range of colors that you know everyone's familiar with and you could just dial them up in the fixture very quickly. Um, the other uh, things are we have uh, what's called a low-end mode. So of course with digital cameras becoming so sensitive, uh, it's really important to have really good quality low light levels. And so when you put the fixture in low-end mode, you actually can go to uh, very low light levels and still maintain really excellent color temperature and have really good color rendition. So that's going to be a great mode for a lot of people sh shooting at low light levels. Uh, we also have uh, the tungsten mode. So tungsten mode actually emulates uh, a tungsten fixture in a lot of different ways. So for example, as you know, as a tungsten light dims, the color temperature becomes warmer. We're actually able to mimic that effect within the sky panel. So if you enable that mode, as you dim the light, it automatically warms the color temperature. Um, in addition to that, if you go from 100% down to 0% really quickly, there'll actually be a little bit of an afterglow effect. So just like a tungsten filament, if you cut, if you cut the power to a tungsten filament, it, as it cools down, it warms up slightly. And so we're able to mimic that all through software. So if you're trying to match tungsten light sources, or perhaps if you just like that effect, you could use that mode, and, it, and it's pretty accurate. Um, we also have the option to select from four different dimming curves. So you can choose between an exponential dimming curve, a logarithmic dimming curve, a linear, and an S curve. So depending on how you want to control the light, how it's dimming, you can select one of those curves and it will affect the fixture system wide. Um, we also, so we have fans in the sky panel because we know that we need fans in order to cool the LED properly so if the ambient temperature rises, the color temperature maintains its accuracy, but also it cools the electronics and that leads to a very long lifetime of the, of the, uh, of the electronic components. Um, and of course our fans are really, really quiet, but there are some scenes where, you know, zero noise is required, you know, perhaps it's a small room or a very emotional setup. Um, and so we've enabled the ability to control the fan through a DMX channel. So at the end of all of our DMX protocols, we've added a new channel that allows you to adjust the fan settings. So you can actually change the fan mode, or you could turn it completely off for around 10 to 15 minutes, somewhere in there. And then when, you know, so for example, if someone says roll camera, you could turn the fans off, and then someone says cut, you could turn the fans back on and cool the LEDs uh, very quickly. So again, it's kind of giving everyone that added control over the fixture. And speaking of control, we've also implemented two other uh, features that deal with communication protocols. The first one is RDM. So of course we have DMX, but now we also have RDM, which is remote, remote device management, which allows two-way communication between a console, a lighting console, and the fixture. And you could do things like set DMX parameters and the address and all of those kinds of things. The other one is Artnet, and Artnet is uh, basically DMX over Ethernet. So you could use Ethernet cables and you could use network switches and hubs and routers to run your data instead of 5 from DMX if you want to. Um, we also have a gateway built into the fixture, so you can run Artnet over Ethernet rather into the fixture and then daisy chain 5-pin DMX out of the fixture. So it, it makes for a very versatile system. Um, and the last three actually have to do with USB functionality. So we have a USB-A port on the back of the fixture. And primarily in the past what we've used that for is just to do software updates. So you put the software update onto the USB stick, put it into the back, and the software update begins. Um, but now 
now we're able to do more things. For example, we could save service and error logs from the fixture onto a USB stick. So if you should ever get an error, you could send that to an ARI service technician and they could tell you how to fix the problem or how to what to do next. Um, we also have the ability, so in the sky panel we have 10 user presets that you could set, either CCT, a hue, or a gel. And now you could save those 10 user presets to a USB stick and bring them to another fixture. So if you wanted to share those presets or maybe even create different color palettes, you could do that just by pressing a few buttons and it's saved onto the USB stick. And the last one is actually the ability to clone all of the fixture settings onto the USB stick so that you could bring all the fixture settings over to another fixture. So if you're setting up you know, 50 or 100 sky panels, uh, instead of having to navigate through every menu item, you could just bring all those settings onto USB stick, load, put that into another fixture, and load it really quickly. So that's firmware 2.0. It's available as a free download now on our website. Um, and please, so please visit www.airy.com for more information. Thanks a lot. Thank you.